Hi, it's Barb, Meeple PhD, with another Cosmic Game Connection. Recently, a group of researchers reported that they had used a disk of cold gas swirling around a black hole to measure its mass. This black hole happened to reside at the center of the galaxy NGC 3258. It was a supermassive black hole, and nearly every large galaxy seems to have one. These behemoths weigh in at anywhere from millions to billions of times the mass of our sun. Even so, their mass represents just a small fraction of the mass of the entire galaxy. And because of this, their gravity really only affects the stars and materials really close into them. And to measure their mass, you need to isolate those parts of the galaxy that are affected by their gravity. Or you can use some tracers, but that tends to introduce some uncertainties in the measurements. The most precise way to do it is by dynamical studies of the things affected by the black hole's gravity. Well, it turns out that NGC 3258 has a cold disk of gas orbiting around the central massive black hole. And in that disk, there's carbon monoxide gas, which like any molecule and element emits light at very specific frequencies, kind of like a fingerprint. The ALMA telescopes can observe the light that carbon monoxide gives off in these circumstances and can do it with exquisite detail, which is what allowed these researchers to map out this disk and its movements. And what they found is that the, the disk sped up from a mere 620,000 miles per hour at the outer edges, about 500 light years from the black hole, up to about 2 million miles per hour close into the black hole at just 65 light years. Using this information and orbital mechanics, they could estimate the mass of the black hole to be about 2 billion times the mass of our sun. And they did it with better precision than, than has ever been done with another black hole outside of our Milky Way galaxy. When I thought about those researchers mapping out the disk of matter in this black hole's sphere of influence, the game that came to mind was On Tour. On Tour is a roll and write game where you're planning out your band's path through the United States for its next tour. Players start the game with a player board, which is a map of the United States, and a dry erase pen. The state cards are shuffled, and all players seed their board with a few numbers. Players then play simultaneously. Each turn, two 10-sided dice are rolled, producing two two-digit numbers. For example, if you rolled a seven and an eight, you would have 78 and 87. At the same time, three of those state cards are turned up. Players then must use those two two-digit numbers, place them on their board in, in regions corresponding to the ones showing on the state cards. If they happen to decide to play their number in one of the states showing on the cards, they circle it. This will give them an extra point at the end of the game. If three cards come up that show the exact same region, players then ignore the die roll and put a star in one of those states instead. And if doubles come up, they do the same thing. The stars will be helpful at the end of the game when they're planning out their tour because they act as wild numbers. Play continues until you have just two states that don't have numbers in them. At that point, you just roll the dice one more time, use those two two-digit numbers in those two empty spots, and you're done. Well, not quite. You actually have to plan out your tour next. So players then draw their tour on the board. You can choose any start and any finish for your tour. But the trick is, as you connect up cities using the paths indicated on the board, each subsequent city must be of equal or greater value than the previous one visited. Once everyone's done their tour, you tally up your cities, add additional points for any circled cities on your route, and the player with the most points wins. As you play, you're trying to choose the path for your band. Do you go big, trying to crisscross the country, but uh, maybe falling short when a couple of dice rolls don't go your way? Or do you try something a little bit smaller but more robust? It was the end of the game when you're faced with this map full of numbers that made me think of those researchers mapping out the gas swirling around this black hole. So the next time you find yourself at the end of a game of On Tour, agonizing over the best path for your band, stop for just one second 
and think about these researchers who are mapping out material as it swirls toward a black hole. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you know when my next video comes out. And in the meantime, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as at MeeplePhD, and you can follow my blog at MeeplePhD.com.